Hey, it's Stacia Kennedy, and in this video, I want to share with you three quick tips on how to generate or create content for your real estate business page. So if you are in real estate, this video is going to be for you. And before I go into the quick three tips, uh, my name is Stacia Kennedy. If you are new to my Facebook page, you're going to want to hit the notification button, or if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to share with you quick, a quick three, three tips that you can use to help you generate content for your real estate page. But first, first as well, I actually want to ask you a quick question. If you're looking at your last 20 posts on your business page, is it completely empty where you're not posting at all? Or have you been posting, but all the last 20 posts are all about your business, all about list, new listings, market data, and all the, you know, how great you are and how <laughs> great your business is. It's great to do that. But what I want to share with you in the first quick tip is to make it about the community. Make it about the buyers and the sellers and the people that you want to engage with. You want to have, if you haven't heard of this before, you want to have an 80-20 rule. And then sometimes in my case, I try to actually make it a 90-10 rule where the 80% of your content, or 90%, but you know, 80% will work fine. 80% of your content, you want to make sure that's all about the community. Um, sh sharing with people what, why it's great to live in your city, um, funny memes, uh, questions about what people are looking for, feature a local business. Maybe you uh, ask, you know, some engaging questions in your posts. It shouldn't be all about your listings and how great your team is. And that's all great, but make that 20% of the amount of posts that you're using on your social media. Number two, I want you to do something really different. Uh, and this is gonna be um, probably outside of your box, but I'd like to have you actually look at 10 different business pages that you go to that are actually not even in real estate. Maybe other entrepreneurs, other business pages that you frequently engage in yourself and study those pages. How are they getting so much engagement and what kind of you know posts are they doing videos whether they're they have some kind of call to action really study these pages and make them into real estate type posts this is where I get a lot of my inspiration and quick tips and ideas is I actually go to other business entrepreneur pages and even on Instagram as well and see what captions they're using what kind of photos they're using what is getting a lot of engagement what am I attracted to and see if I can spin that into a real estate post third I would also make sure that you are adding a little bit of yourself you know take some professional photos if you have photos of the listings that you're you're taking or you know maybe you're going on appointments have um, a professional photographer take photos if you're always suggesting to your clients to take professional photos of their listings why not have that photographer also take a couple more photos for ye of you while you're in the trenches um, I mean, you may want to take, take photos of, you know, of yourself. You can use your cell phone or have other people, you know, take photos of you using your cell phone as well. I do videos on my phone all the time. But in this particular suggestion or last quick tip is actually hire someone professional so that you can have a better look and brand throughout your entire social media. So not just the posts, but having the banners on your covers, all of your social media, Twitter, everywhere that you have your brand posted you want to make sure that all looks the same and you have some um, really nice photos that you can make your business look good you know so those are my quick three tips about branding your social media content what to post where to get ideas um, maybe here's a bonus tip you can also go on a pinterest i love going on the pinterest and getting some ideas and and all you need to type in is real estate posts and you can get lots of ideas there. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more information about real estate marketing and tips and tricks, make sure to keep coming back to this channel here on my Facebook page or YouTube and we'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.